eighth inning, our score now six to three. The Bears put up three runs in the bottom of the seventh inning. Now try to protect that lead for six more outs, and a new pitcher takes over for the Bears. It's Andrew McInvale. McInvale, two and two, a 4.15 earned run average. Hard throwing freshman right hander out of Austin, 17 strikeouts, 12 walks in 21 and two thirds innings. McInvale took the loss in relief against Oklahoma in that walk off loss on Sunday, but he pitched really well, some really good hard baseball. Career high four to third innings out of the bullpen. He allowed two runs, struck out two, and walked two. And he really battled against a good Oklahoma lineup, and he kept the Bears right in it for the final four innings. Oklahoma had their relief ace, Sheldon Noisy, who had a sub-1 ERA. And McAvoy really battled him, batter for batter, until finally Oklahoma was able to get the win. There's a pop foul on the first pitch to Brendan Satcher, the nine-hole hitter, and the count is 0-1. So, well, I'm sure it was disappointing for him to get the loss. Uh, you can really see he's growing up as a pitcher. A good start now last week against Swafford, and then a good relief out in against Oklahoma this weekend. Well, a lot of these guys, you know, you, they're still freshmen, but they, you've seen so much of them that you're sitting here going, well, they're seasoned veterans at this point, uh, but we have to forget they're still young, uh, and that fastball taken away evens the count at 1-1. Uh, but because they're getting so much growth and experience, um, you know, they're able to do those things, and they continue to gain more confidence, and, and, and Andrew's a guy that's so, so capable of being such a performer for this team. High pop fly back into center field by Satrin. Tunnel waits, gets one away. Let's go back to the top of the order now for Stein Vandermeer. He's been a tough out, two for three with an RBI. And the one out that he did have took a nice play by shortstop Josh Bissonette on a high line drive that he climbed the ladder to grab. So here is Vandermeer. Here's leading six to three, one out, top of the eighth inning. The pitch by McAvail is low. He can hit 93 miles an hour on the fastball. Hard throwing right hander. You know, we asked him last week, Cody, after his win over Wofford on Tuesday night. Here comes the 1-0 pitch. Such a good outing for him if he felt like he'd maybe turned a corner a little bit. And he didn't exactly use the phrase turn a corner, but he did say that it almost feels like a light bulb has come on a little bit for him. And you can, it certainly would appear that that's the case these last two outings. Here's the 2-0 to Vandermeer. Gets a strike at the knees, 2-1. Yeah, and you never know what light bulb he's talking about, but it can mean so many different things, and, and a lot of times it may just mean uh, something triggered to give me the confidence to, to go, no matter who's up there at the plate, I've got the stuff capable of shutting them down. The 2-1 just misses the knees, it's over the plate, but low, 3-1. And, and when you start mentally pitching, uh, no matter who you are, as if you're the best to tow the rubber on that particular day, uh, the results are going to come for you because your stuff's just going to be better naturally. The 3-1 is low, ball four. That's a walk allowed by Andrew McInvale. And it brings up Jake Nash, who's one for three, an RBI double back in the first inning. So Vandermeer aboard for the third time on the game, and here's Nash. Nash, tied for the team lead, actually now has the team lead at 34 RBIs. Pitch by McAvoy, low ball one. Six runs, 11 hits for the Bears. Three runs, four hits for Lamar. Baylor batters have really been delivering the hits these last few games. A bit double figures for at least for the last five games. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Popped up into right field. Darren Shepard waits for it and makes the catch for the second out of the inning. Derek, you mentioned uh, can, can hit 93 on the radar gun. and Don't know where he's at right now, but that was a classic case of throwing that fastball in on the hands of the right-handed hitter and uh, really sawing uh, the handle off and just getting a uh, nice weak fly ball out to right field. So uh, very capable. That's what he needs to realize. Big, strong kid. And, and, again, don't have to be perfect. And none of these pitchers do. Throw strikes, use your best stuff, and you're going to get outs. Here's Brendan Arredondo. McAvale's fastball just a little bit low. Arredondo, a big out here with two outs in a runner aboard. If he somehow reaches 
Lamar down by three runs here in the eighth inning would actually bring their biggest power hitter to the plate with a chance to tie the game. McInvale paints the outside corner, strike one, evenly to count, one ball and one strike. So you'd much rather face Reed Russell with 11 home runs on the year, leading off the ninth with no one aboard. One ball, one strike, and the pitch by McInvale. In the dirt, nice block by Matt Menard. They appeal to first to see if the batter, Aradondo, went around. He did not. Two outs, a runner at first, and a 2-1 count to Aradondo. McInvale checks over at Vandermeer. The 2-1 pitch. Line foul. It lines up the net to the right of home plate. Count evens, two balls and two strikes. And Derek, you're just kind of watching this bat unfold, and, and I think if you're Andrew and you can uh, do what you did a little bit earlier and get that fastball in right here, uh, I think you might just freeze the hitter just because he's looking for that ball away. The 2-2 pitch, here it comes. Rounded to shortstop, Bissonette throws to second base, got him on a bang-bang play! What a play there by Josh Bissonette.